Hey guys, welcome back to another comic book review here on Toned In Entertainment. Today we're going to look at the second and final issue of the comic book miniseries with Geiger, Ground Zero, issue number two. The story here is told through the point of view of Dr. Andre Molotov, the man who claims to be responsible for the world being turned into a wasteland. Now there is some backstory here about the doctor's family and why he began the research he did in the first place. We're going to see Tyree Geiger here struggle with the dilemma on whether he should leave his family in the safety of the bunker or try to bust him out against the advice of the doc who tries to remind Geiger that if they don't have protective suits, which they don't, that if they are exposed to the fallout, that they will end up dead eventually, if not right away. While the doc goes scrounging around in a supply truck, there ends up being an altercation between him and Geiger, which leads to Geiger getting punctured with a boron rod, which will help control his explosive tendencies. With Geiger in this weakened state, it gives the doc an opportunity to try and have a rational conversation with Geiger and try to explain to him that adding a second rod will be even more beneficial. But Geiger ends up showing little interest in what the doc has to say and decides it's time to go back to his family, but he's met with a minor obstacle in the way. But it's nothing that the doc won't be able to assist him with. From here, the doc and Geiger will make a pact that if Geiger can get him to the Colorado border where he believes his wife should be waiting for him, then he will help Geiger find a solution to his problems. Now along the way, they will come up against an adversary who doesn't like people invading his personal space. And after a scramble between the two sides, the trucker will realize that he's barked up the wrong tree. But unfortunately for both the Doc and Geiger, they will each receive bad news. For the Doc, it's going to be that his wife met her fate when she came across this trucker. And for Geiger, if he's going to have any stability, these rods are a necessity. Now after all this, it appears that Doc and Geiger tried to live in harmony, but it was not meant to be. And they ended up going their own separate ways. Now for my review score for Geiger Ground Zero, issue number two. The story, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. With this being a prequel, it was insightful as we got more information as to what created the world that Geiger lives in. And we got to see just how he got the rods and why the cape he wears are so important. The art, it's going to get a 9 out of 10. The use of colors is stellar. There are great action scenes once again and some pretty emotional moments for what makes yet another great issue. The conclusion, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Here we get a solid ending to this two issue mini series and there's even a Junkyard Joe epilogue included here that whets our appetite for what's to come from this Ghost Machine universe because by the looks of it, this universe is about to explode in 2024. The fun factor is going to get an 8 out of 10, which means my final score for this issue is going to be an 8.25 out of 10. It's definitely been great to have some more Geiger. Prequels are not usually something I get too excited about, but writer Jeff Johns has not only brought me back to the Geiger universe, but he has me very excited about all the stories that will be coming out, starting with this one shot Ghost Machine issue being released on January 24th that I will be reviewing here on the channel. All right, guys, now have you read this Geiger miniseries? And if you have, what are your thoughts? Comment down below. And are you excited for what's to come? Now, if you like comic book reviews like this, guys, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you can stay tuned in here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.